honestly, this is the third anime to Core Gundam. Alice stole their ideas for the Earth Armor, which is number three, and their ideas for the new Gundam, which is Amaro's third Gundam. The kit comes with three heads. The trees just go on and on. Seriously, give me a f break, will ya? What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gundam here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the High Grade Alice Earth 3 Gundam, also known as Eldora Earth 3 Gundam, from Gundam Build Divers Rise. Now I will explain myself in a moment, but for now let's take a look at the Alice Core Gundam right here. Now color wise, this thing does look pretty interesting. Now for the main color, it actually uses like a navy blue, which gives it a really really dark appearance, and on top of the black giving it dark accents, and also the clear purple on the head and the chest. This guy does give out a very sinister aura. But to contrast between the dark colors, light colors are used in the chest, the front skirts, and also the frame. So I am really a big fan of how the color scheme is executed. Now, silhouette wise, I feel like the shoulders are a little bit, a little bit too small in my opinion, but I don't know if that is just down to the design or Bandai's inaccuracies, I might have to check. And then the arm guards over here, I really like the round, kind of round, but kind of angular at the same time look of it, but it is a little bit too long, but as long as they function well, I don't really care, because they actually use a completely unique piece, but provide the same types of connections for the wrists and the connections into these holes, which can hold the hands by the way, so if they function well, it is fine by me. Now also, I'm not really too big of a fan of the claw feet right here, just because, well, it's down to tastes, honestly, I'm not really too big of a fan of them, but eh, it's okay, I guess. And also, I really do like the head, the gigantic clear purple dome over here, covering over the flat eye sticker inside of it, which yeah, it does look pretty nice, but the sticker can only shine through with the correct light. Which, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing, but there's that feature. Speaking of stickers, we have the eye and the cheeks. That's it for the core Gundam right here. But, the Eldora part comes into play with the other set of stickers. So, there is a purple set of stickers over here. So, these are for the Eldora variants and the pink ones, including the ones for the Earth 3 head is for the Alice variant. So if you're using purple, it is going to be called Eldora. If you're using pink, it is going to be called Alice. That's basically the basic gist of it. So all in all, this thing does look pretty good. And yeah, it's a pretty interesting take and unique enough to distinguish itself from Hiroto's core Gundams. Articulation wise, it is the same as the core Gundams. So a double ball jointed head with a chicken neck possible. The polycats can go up that far, but if you cheat and pull out the shoulder extensions, they can go up that far. The arms can raise up that far if you cheat. And also, just like that, if you do not cheat, the arms can rotate over here, rotate above the elbow, bend at the elbow at two joints, pretty nice. Wrists can rotate and wiggle. Now, there is two ball joints in the abdomen area, one in the waist and one in the actual stomach. But, don't expect the one in the stomach to provide you with much more than the original core Gundam, because it doesn't. Now, the only rotation is provided by the waist, just like the original core Gundam. I think the original core Gundam has limited rotation, but this thing can rotate 360. But do not expect this thing to have drastic differences between this the guy and the original core Gundam, just because the abdomen has two ball joints. Front skirts are even smaller, but they can move out of the way for no particular reason for now. There is no side or back skirts, so nothing is really getting in the way. Legs can go forwards, go backwards, go outwards, not all the way, just like the same as the core Gundam. Rotation at the thigh, a single jointed knee in this configuration, but if you want to cheat, you can. But and this thing does look more natural when you cheat, because it the claw feet doesn't go flush with the thigh. Pretty okay. And then the foot can go forwards and back like this, and then there's a ball joint in the back, and of course they can close up to be slotted into the armor. And of course the backpack spikes which are there just for looks, they can move. It's as swift as the Jupiter Hive Gundam's beam saver, so do not need to worry about breaking the backpack. But all in all, the articulation of this guy right here is definitely on par, if not a little bit better 
than the original core Gundam. However, if you're posing it on the ground, just be careful because there's only six min there's only six little spots that are actually touching the ground so balance may become an issue so for the accessories i might as well bring in the alice earth armor right here because i have stored every single accessory on this piece of armor now the coarse spray gun is actually kind of shoehorned into the storage because i just let the hand hold and that is one of the problems i'm going to address later when talking about this armor rack in detail so yeah this is the coarse spray gun nothing really changed but using a light gray frame and a purple scope so basically just swap the hands and swap on the hand covers and voila he's holding the core spray gun and the only other accessory that it uses is the beam blade that is stored in the slit over here so you just pull that out and i really like the design but you have to use the alice design hand cover because the hand cover is a sticker Yes, I really wish that we could actually select our own hand cover to put onto it just to give any of our Gundams basically, or any of our core Gundams, the ability to generate Garazo beam blades from the hand. But unfortunately, that's not the case here. But what I really do like about this effect part it is, is it is not really directed to any specific hand because you can see the palm actually has the thumb right in the center and then the fingers are of equal length so you can actually put it yeah i'm gonna put it into the left hand because it's the only free hand but you can actually put it into the right hand without it looking weird it may not be a vegan suit but it does have transforming hands to make sure that the beam saber doesn't look weird in either of the hands when used unfortunately you only get the one so you cannot really go full garazo and dual slash everybody but that's an option. It looks pretty damn cool. So that is all the accessories for the Alice Core Gundam. Before I talk about the Earth Armor, let's bring in Hiroto's original Core Gundam. Core Gundam 2, not available yet as of this recording, but you bet your ass I will compare the Alice Core Gundam to the Core Gundam 2 when it comes out. So as you can see, the Alice Core Gundam is way taller than Hiroto's Core Gundam due to the claw feet. So that wraps it up for the Alice Core Gundam. Now let's talk about the Alice Earth Armor. So this is basically the quacker mode because I really love how it just looks like a sitting duck right here. But the sitting duck actually helps you safeguard every single extra piece that you have. For example, the two hands over here that I've already ditched for the weapons. Well, you can actually store them inside right there. So you can see the holes over there. They are actually for slotting in the hands. So I have never seen anything like this since Gundam Age. And I'm really glad that Bandai actually give, gave us this option. So we do not need to lose anything that is basically a what vital to the Alex uh, Core Gundam. And of course, you can put on all the armor pieces. But the backpack piece over here does actually kind of... It's kind of loose and sometimes may fall out unbeknownst to you but just tighten up the backpack peg and that's it now the one major problem is the customization head over here the ball joint the secondary ball joint over here is not tight enough i've already tried to tighten up with plastic cement it doesn't even help a bit yeah it does help a bit in restricting rotation but as for it jumping out on its own no it doesn't help on that front it's just a sitting duck that will help you safeguard all your extra parts now why not compare it with the original earth armor now i know it's like comparing apples to oranges here but people may want to see them side by side so that's about it now without further ado let's combine the alice core gundam with the alice earth armor now, I will only be showing the parts that are slightly or m drastically different to the original Core Gundam, just because a lot of this crap is the same. So, without further ado, let's begin. So, first of all, the head. Basically, a head swap. So, take out the head, swap on the Earth Re head, like this. And then for the leg armor, I'm going to be just demonstrating on one. And there goes the chest armor. Now you need to actually remove the back plate over here. Now you, you do not need to do this when docking the normal core Gundam into it, thankfully. But for the Alice core Gundam, 
you actually need to remove the back plate, close up the claw legs, and then just slide it in. There we go. And then push the claw leg back in, and then reattach the back plate. Now, this is how it is able to conceal its leg. And also, since we're here, why not talk about the gun? So, remove this crap from the rack. So, this thing, basically just like the, any old regular core Gundam spray gun extension, just slot it into the barrel. And the stock right here, just slot it onto the stock of the spray gun. Now, you will know you have done everything right when everything goes flush together. Now, the only other difference that I can think of is the omission of the arm extensions, but everything else is the same, so BRB. So here is the Alice Earth 3 Gundam in all of its glory, and I have to say, I really like most of it, but in general, it does look pretty okay. Now, let's take a look at the spin around. The articulation has not been impeded, but I will have one point of articulation to address with you guys later on. Despite the aesthetic of the majority of the upper body does look pretty nice although it is a little bit duller than what is displayed on the box art but bust out your sharpening skills and just sharpen every single edge and then you will have a real spiky and edgy statement piece this thing will just look intimidating now i really i really like the head i never expected myself to like the head but it's kind of turning me off that I'm seeing like a death stare with a very evil smile. <laughs> like, try to unsee that now that I've said it. But yeah, and the Mono Y in there, it is, it is a sticker on a rounded surface, but there is a peg right in the middle of the sticker, so be sure to align it carefully. And of course, you do have one in the forehead camera. And all the metallic pieces on the armor are stickers. So that's a lot right there, but not too much. But what I do not like about the Alice Earth 3 Gundam is the leg armor design. Now you can see the top body is basically spikes all over. The backpacks are spikes, the shoulder armors are spikes in a way because the ends are spiky. The chest armor over here has somewhat, somewhat spiky design, angular design. The head obviously, the V-fin, and of course the front armor over here. It is also a spiky design. But look at the back skirt and also the leg armor. Never rounded. Like, it's as if Alice had ran out of ideas and just chose to base the leg armor out of a roadie frame, of all things. Because there aren't any other angular designs out there that suit the Earth redesign. So, yeah, what he did, took the man roadie, and basically shoehorned some Earth 3 elements into it, and kaboom, you have yourself an Alice Earth 3 leg. Now, the back skirt over here is more reminiscent of the froggy Gundam Gusion's back skirt. So, yeah, it's just a sudden change. But anyways, the armor itself in general is serviceable. But now, here's the second thing. Now, because the, the feet do not flip in the combination, you only get a single ball joint in here. So, it's completely static, and every single motion that you can achieve with the feet is all dependent on that ball joint so there isn't really too many posing possibilities and it will be kind of a nuisance to just address the balancing issues because the feet on this armor does have less surface area than heroes armors so balancing could be a bit of an issue but overall it's serviceable to me now the unique weapon that comes in the earth reform is the beam rifle yeah regular old lame name but this time, I do not know if this is coincidence or not, this thing looks to be based on the Dido Bazooka, but just dialed down to the size of a beam rifle. Whereas the Earth 3's rifle is based on the Stungo rifle, this is based on the Dido Bazooka. Is it a coincidence? I think not. But anyways, you just slide it into the hand just like so, pretty damn easily. And since it copied a part of the Earth 3's functionality, of course you can expand it. So. It was plugged into this peg right here, you plug it onto the upper peg, like so. Same thing goes for the bottom piece, just like so. And then the cuff over here, basically, I think they could have used an arm here, but they chose to do parts forming. It was plugged onto this peg, now you plug onto the rear peg right here. Now, the gun has opened up to receive the left arm's energy. So as to do some sniping attacks or a spread shot or whatever it needs to get those build divers out of his way. So basically here is the burst shooting mode of the beam rifle. There is now there is one thing that I almost forgot, which is the secondary head on the armor rack. So this thing is pretty interesting. 
Now, you do have proper stickers for it, so the two on the cheek, one on the camera, and one on the visor, which does look like Al Ann from Subnautica, don't you think? But what this allows you to do is to actually steal the other core Gundam's V-Fin extensions. So let's say I were to steal the Earth 3's V-Fin extension, plug it on. I, I think it looks weird to me. But, let me see. The only core Gundam that doesn't have a proper V-Fin is the Anima Rise. Plug on the Anima Rise's V-Fin on here and you'll have something that looks good and doesn't look odd. That's my advice, but of course you can plug on any of the core Gundam's V-Fin extensions onto this head. But I will not be doing like a full showcase of all the other core Gundam armors on the Alice core Gundam just because you guys asked for it, a compilation instead of an ad break. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a compilation after the Gundam Anima Rise actually comes out. So yeah, wait for that. But I may be posting teaser photos on my community page, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, this is basically a very, very good addition to this kit so as to allow you to have more customization options for your Alice Earth 3 Gundam. So that is basically all for the accessories of the Alice Earth 3 Gundam. Now let's take a look at the extra pieces and here they are. Now of course you can steal the hands for use of the Alice Earth 3 Gundam because everything is the same. You can put the hand covers on. So let's say that you want to give this guy for example the Heat Ref Sword of the Mars 4 then you can definitely go ahead and use these hands because you need to crack the hand open to put those in. But personally, I will not be giving this guy anything of from the other armor, so I don't need these. Not for the Alice R3 Gundam anyways. And of course, all the other pieces over here are free for you to steal. Now for comparisons, obviously I have to bring in Hiroto's R3 Gundam. Now the blue on the Alice R3 Gundam looks a little bit richer but I do not know if that's due to the design. And then last but not least, we have to bring in the Zail Sam. Now this about wraps it up for the Alice Earth 3 Gundam review. What do I think of this kit? Well, everything that irks me cosmetically is all due to my cup of tea not really fitting this guy. Because, yeah, I'm on the fence about the claw feet, the round back skirt, and also the leg armor. But all in all, this thing does look pretty good. I really like how the color scheme really works in both modes. And yeah, the only thing that really irks me is the armor rack itself, like not the actual Gundam itself. Now the Gundam does have like really loose front skirts sometimes, but it is not a problem now, I don't think. So I do not know what I did differently. I just attached the front skirt like the way it's supposed to be attached, but Sometimes it just works, sometimes it does not. I guess I got lucky then. But the armor rack, it may be good that it can store every single piece on it, but I don't think it is the most sturdy connection for some pieces. For example, the actual customization head, it doesn't really stay on the secondary ball joint. The beam blade, you can easily collide into it and just push it out of its storage socket. And also the backpack piece doesn't really store on pretty well. But all in all, this thing, yeah, there may be some improvements that could be made. For example, the rifle, it, I think it could have used arms to just expand the gun and then use it as the burst shooting mode. But yeah, everything else on this kit is pretty damn nice. Yeah, it's a shame that the fingers are not sharp, but proper modifications should fix that. But the one thing about the accessories that I'm not really like a fan of is how the hand cover on the beam blade hand is actually fixed. So you can't have any other design other than Alice's design on the beam blade hands. Even though it can work on both hands, I really would have wished that I could put on other hand covers from the other armors just so to I could match my design with the beam blade hand. But other than that, this kit is a pretty good kit so I will give it a 7.5 out of 10 because I really can't not straight between a 7 and an 8. So 7.5 an absolute recommend for me especially to expand your customization arsenal for your core Gundams. This is a pretty unique armor set among the ones that we got and will get. So yeah, definitely go ahead and pick this up. It's, and especially if you want an extra set of armor because this is cheap, this is unique looking. And to top it all off, this thing is just awesome apart from taste issues. So that's it for me. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and also subscribe for more Gunpla reviews, Gunpla news, and all that kind of stuff. Subscribe to the weekly channels on my channel page if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next video.
Peace out.